Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? From what we have here, let's take 3 raised to power 6 to the left hand side, and this becomes k minus 7 raised to power 6 minus 3 raised to power 6 equals to 0 from here. That is, here we can rewrite this as k minus 7 raised to power 3 then raised to power 2 as 2 times 3 here will still be 6 then also minus 3 raised to power 3 then raised to power 2 equals to 0 from here and this follows from what we have a square minus b square which is equals to a plus b into bracket also into bracket a minus b that is from what we have here a is same thing as k minus 7 raised to power 3 then b is same thing as 3 raised to power 3 then from here what we have becomes k minus 7 raised to power 3 plus 3 raised to power 3 into bracket then also into bracket k minus 7 raised to power 3 minus 3 raised to power 3 close bracket then equals to 0 from here which implies here we have two cases that is the first one we have k minus 7 raised to power 3 plus 3 raised to power 3 equals to 0 and the second case we have k minus 7 raised to power 3 minus 3 raised to power 3 equals to 0 from here. And what we have here from the first case, it follows from a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3, which can be written as a plus b into bracket, open bracket a square minus a b plus b squared then it implies here this follows and we have k plus k minus 7 then plus 3 into bracket the open bracket into bracket k minus 7 squared then minus k minus 7 times 3 that's 3 into bracket k minus 7 then plus 3 squared close bracket equals to 0 from here. Then when we simplify from here, this remain k minus 4 here. Then into bracket, the expansion here becomes k square minus 14k plus 49. The minus 3 open bracket here, we have minus 3k plus 21 here, then plus 9 close bracket equals to 0 from here. That is, we can also bring this together and this becomes k minus 4 into bracket, the open bracket k square minus 14k minus 3k that's minus 17k then here 49 plus 21 that gives us 70 then plus 9 that's 79 from there plus bracket equals to 0 from here which also implies we have two cases here k minus 4 equals to 0 here and we have k squared minus 17k plus 79 equals to 0 from here and solving on this side this becomes k equals to 4 which is a, a resolution here then we have a quadratic equation here where a equals to 1 b equals to minus 17 and c equals to 79 then from the formula, we now have k equals to minus 
minus 17 plus or minus square root of minus 17 squared and minus 4 times 1 times 79 then over 2 times 1 that is simplifying further this becomes k equals to minus times minus plus so we have 17 here plus or minus square root of minus 17 square we have 289 then minus 4 times 1 times 79 give us 316 then divided by 2 from here and which implies we have k equals to 17 plus or minus square root of 289 minus 316 we have minus 27 then over 2 here which implies we have k equals to 17 plus or minus root 9 times 3 times minus 1 here then over 2 here that is this becomes k equals to 17 plus or minus here we have root 9 here that's 3 so 3 root 3 then root minus 1 we have i then over 2 so we have two complex solutions from here then solving from the second case here this follows from when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 which is equals to a minus b into bracket the open bracket a square plus a b plus b squared then what we have here becomes k minus 7 minus 3 then into bracket open bracket k minus 7 squared then plus 3 into bracket k minus 7 then plus 3 squared close bracket equals to 0 from here and solving here we have k minus 10 into brackets then open bracket expansion here becomes k square minus 14k plus 49 then minus 3 plus 3 open this bracket becomes plus 3k then minus 21 plus 9 here close bracket equals to 0 from here then from here this becomes k minus 10 then into bracket k square minus 14k plus 3k equals minus 11k then we have 49 minus 21 that gives us 28 there then plus 9 we have plus 37 now close bracket equals to 0 now here we have two cases as well with k minus 10 equals to 0 that's the first case and also we have k square minus 11k plus 37 equals to 0 from here and on this side it implies we have k equals to 10 which is also a real solution here then here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 11, then c equals to 37. And following the formula here, this implies we have k now equals to minus, minus 11 plus or minus square root of minus 11 squared minus 4 times 1 times 37 then divided by 2 times 1 from here which implies we have k equals to minus times minus plus so we have 11 plus or minus square root of minus 11 square we have 121 then minus 4 times 1 times 37 
square 148 then divided by 2 from here that is this implies we have k equals to 11 plus or minus square root of 121 minus 148 that minus 27 then over 2 that is since we have root minus 27 same thing as 3 root 3i then what we have becomes k equals to 11 plus or minus 3 root 3i then over 2 from here which also implies we have two complex solutions from here then all together we have six solution solutions in this particular problem which are two real solutions and then we have four complex solutions and thank you for watching don't forget these steps and subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell on share this video and give it thumbs up and put a comment in the comment section thank you see you next class and bye for now